shows up to the date and the second that he sees her he says you know what i'm not really feeling it i think we should call it a night so sorry so then she asks can you tell me why because she was confused but his response it clearly stung he said you know what I've seen a lot of your pictures on Instagram and on TikTok and on dating profile and you don't really look like your pictures. Are you the one in the blue dress? That's you? But it, it, it you don't you don't look like the the picture on the app. That's you in the blue dress with the black jacket. Ah, madam, no. No, don't cross. No, 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 no. It's fine, don't cross, stay. She saw Filter as a solution to get Chad's attention, but it didn't work as expected. He literally left a few seconds after meeting her. Now she is upset because he didn't give her an opportunity. I saw a TikTok about a girl who went on a date. She met the guy on a dating app. He started following her Instagram, then started following her TikTok. Shows up to the date, and the second that he sees her, he says, you know what, I'm not really feeling it. I think we should call it a night. So sorry. So then she asks, can you tell me why? Because she was confused. But his response, it clearly stung. He said, you know what? I've seen a lot of your pictures on Instagram and on TikTok and on dating profile and you don't really look like your pictures. And she admitted that she wears filters on her Instagram and on TikTok, just the, you know, beauty, the light beauty filter, the touch up. She removed the filter and I think she's still beautiful. But it's the response from everyone in the comments that has me like, so why do I think differently than so many of these people? All the women are bashing the dude, talking trash about him. When like... I literally don't understand it. Since she asked him what was the reason he canceled the date, he gave her his honest answer. So what's the problem? Should he omit the truth? Like in my mind, he was honest, right? He was honest. You asked and he was honest. And of course you have a bunch of men coming in the comments and they're saying, yeah, it's hard for us when you don't look like your pictures. I don't doubt that reality, right? As a woman, you don't like to hear that because you like your filters, you look great. I understand. But when you outright ask, for the truth and you receive it i just i just don't i just don't think you can bash someone for that like well said if she didn't ask he probably wouldn't have said anything that's if they're not feeling it they're not feeling it and I, one of the comments it was a woman saying that she would be horrified and he should have just done the nice thing and had dinner with her regardless and just not communicated to her afterwards to me that's worse i don't want to waste my time with someone who doesn't find me attractive imagine having dinner with someone who is no longer willing to be in your presence it wouldn't be a good experience i would rather have them be honest so we can move on without wasting each other's time and it's okay that he wasn't attracted to you. He didn't lead her on, and he was respectfully honest. Really? If he isn't interested, why do you want to spend time with him? I like to put the pictures that I don't like and don't think I look good, because then when I meet them, they say I look better than my photos. They want the truth until they get the truth. You have to put pictures without filters on dating sites. I had a guy leave immediately by saying his friend just called in an emergency, and I think about that at least once a month. Why is she upset? She should be thankful that he got her sincere feedback. Instead of getting mad because he was honest, she should use this opportunity as a teaching moment and learn something from it, and maybe next time she will get a better outcome. But apparently, she is more concerned with his honesty than with the information he gave her, and I wouldn't be surprised if she recorded another video to tell her followers that it happened again. Anytime I see them posting photos where they look completely different especially when it's on a dating app, I always ask myself, what exactly are they expecting when their prospect falls in love with the woman in the photos? Unless they are planning to never see him in real life, they should moderate filter usage. This is the reason I was a bit surprised when she didn't like his answer. Anyone would be somehow disappointed if they found themselves in this type of situation. Imagine a guy telling a woman he owns businesses making millions per year, and then she finds out he works at McDonald's. How would she react in that situation? She wouldn't be happy and probably cancel the date as she would feel somehow deceived. I hope this example helps them to understand the main reason most guys would feel uncomfortable if their date excessively used filters that completely changed their appearance.
you don't want a man to be in love with the person you created digitally because at some point you will have to see him in person. So it's in your best interest to ensure you are still recognizable. After realizing his date lied about her appearance, he left without hesitation, leaving her standing on the road. Hey, yeah, I called and they actually agreed to move the reservation from 12.30 to 12.45. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here, I'm downstairs. It's 12... 1200 Peace Tree, right? Yeah, I'm in front of your building. You can see me? Where? I don't, I don't see. You're crossing the road? Are you the one in the blue dress? That's you? But it, it, it you don't, you don't look like the, the picture on the app. That's you in the blue dress with the black jacket. Ah, madam, no, no, don't cross. No, 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 it's fine, don't cross, stay. As someone who constantly is catfished, I'm not mad at this. Madam, don't cross. I think I know the woman he is talking about. It's the way you quit what doesn't work for you. I got in this dude's car, looked at him, and apologized for getting in the wrong car. I didn't get in the wrong car. The best part was when he got the confirmation that she didn't look like the woman he was supposed to meet. That was funny. He just told her, don't waste your time crossing because you lost the opportunity to meet me as I am no longer interested. He wasn't willing to negotiate any deal as he felt like there was no negotiation when it come to this subject. She was trying to be smart, but it backfired, and this is what most of them don't think about when using edited photos in their dating profiles. I think they aren't aware that the other person will see them as a stranger when meeting in person. Did you notice when his accent changed? At that point, I knew she ain't going anywhere. I have seen a lot of comments from guys talking about their experience with a similar situation, but the majority of them felt the need to continue with the date even though they wanted to leave. They decided to carry on just to avoid being direct and somehow hurting their date's feelings. I can see their good intention, but you don't have to stay if you feel like there is no chemistry with the new person, so there is no need to stay there just to avoid telling them the truth. I would argue it would be better to talk to them about it, as it will help them to understand it's not okay to do it, as it will cause disappointment. Most of them don't see anything wrong with it, they believe it represents themselves, but the reality says otherwise. Their date has a different opinion, and this is something they should take into consideration. Next, we're going to see what it looks like when someone is deeply affected by the illusion this tool offers. I'm going to say something very controversial. Okay. I've seen plenty of videos being like, these girls are using these filters and it's scary. I'm like, bitch, I am horribly unphotogenic. Horribly. If I take this shit off, I don't look anything like myself. I don't know if it's my phone. I don't know what it is, but I look so ugly on camera, but so good in person. Like everyone who sees me in person tells me I look better in person or I look the same compared to my filtered photos. Girl, fuck you. I'm sorry, fuck you. Let me enjoy my life. There are fucking kids dying in Palestine and you're worried about me using my fucking filter. And I call me insecure, bitch. I don't care. I have been married for five years. I got no one to oppress but myself. This is so real. I use filters to look like a mirror of me. I seriously look better in real life. I don't get what's up with these cameras. This is so me. I can't stand being on camera because I look nothing like I do in the mirror. Everyone says I look the same in person, but I hate taking pictures without filters because I'm not photogenic. I have the same exact problem. I legit thought I was the only one. I'm like how do girls look so good in pictures? You can use it if you feel the need to do so, but be ready for some unexpected outcomes because most guys aren't willing to compromise on certain things. And if she create another version of herself thinking that people wouldn't mind when it comes to dating, she is completely wrong and time will show her this fact. At this point, it's so ingrained in her that she probably no longer sees herself posting a plain photo. Filter can affect the way they perceive themselves which can negatively affect their confidence when facing reality. Imagine having a perfect image of yourself to compare to, it will place you in a position where you will always see yourself as not good enough, and this wouldn't have happened if they weren't addicted to it. 
The sad part is that a lot of women in the comment section spoke about their concerns related to the same issue. They said it became like an addiction. They look at it as if it was a mirror of themselves, and now they feel like they are never good enough because their appearance is nowhere close to what they see on the filter. This is the side most of them don't understand about using this tool. They unknowingly became dependent on it. But the worst part is when they want to post that image online for others to see. This is when most of them get sent back to reality because the word will always tell them the truth, no matter what they believe in. If they let filter lie to them, reality will get them out of the lie. The fact that most of them confirmed they can't use unfiltered photos is concerning. It shows how much its usage has affected the perception they have of themselves. Well, this is why you shouldn't trust everything you see on the internet. Because as soon as I take this off, I turn into an entirely different person. Uh. I also agree with her statement, and I know most of us know we must be really careful with things we see online. A lot of things aren't real. At least she is aware of reality, unlike a lot of people who are trying to convince the world of their idealistic delusion. This is the end of today's video and I hope you like it. Make sure you check our channel tomorrow for another exciting video.